Hey everyone, today we will design this dystopian style scarf and trapper hat. This will be split into two parts. In part one, we will design the scarf and in part two, we will design the hat. We are working in Marvelous Designer 12 and I have included the project file in the description below if you wanted to take a closer look at what we were designing or if you just wanted to follow along there. Before we get started, let's set up the workspace. We'll import one of Marvelous Designer's avatars. After importing the avatar, select the avatar and let's change the skin offset to zero. I like to lower this number because I find that the cloth sits better on the avatar. Now let's add some pants. Let's freeze the pants so we don't worry about accidentally grabbing or selecting them when we are working on the scarf. And in the 2D window, we'll set them to the side. Since I already know what fabric I would like to use, I'll import this into the fabric window. You can choose any fabric that you want. I just like the weight and folds that I get with the linen when working with this particular garment. Lastly, before we get started, I'll create a couple of tabs to navigate between frequently used windows. So in the fabric window on the right, next to the X, click the pop-out icon, and I'll search for a hotkey list. The hotkey list shows shortcuts of commonly used tools. I find that this is a great reference for shortcuts, especially if you're looking for ways to speed up your workflow and work more efficiently. Click and drag this pop-out window, and once we see this highlight, let's go ahead and drop it. And now we can cycle through the hotkey list window and the fabric window. If you don't want these tabs, you can click the X at the top of each window to remove it. Now that we have our workspace set up, let's get started. Select the linen fabric and we'll add a rectangle. Left click and drag. And with the transform pattern tool, we'll select the shape. Let's change the particle distance to 10 and the layer to one. If you haven't already, please take a moment to save your project file. Now we're gonna create an internal line with the internal polygon line tool. Left click on the point and slide it along to the opposite point and then double click. With the edit pattern tool, right click on the line and select cut. And with the transform pattern tool, we'll select that pattern piece and delete it. Now we can change the rotation and position of this pattern piece in the 2D window and in the 3D window. To show the line lengths, we'll press Shift Z and we'll scale it down. For the next steps, we'll mainly work in the 3D window. So let's maximize our workspace. Select the 3D window, and when you see this white border, press Alt-W. This will take the 3D window full screen. Now let's use the pin box tool to freeze certain areas of the scarf. Left click and drag to add the pins. The orange indicates that the pins are currently selected. Let's move the scarf closer to the body and simulate. Now we see how the pins are holding the scarf in this position. While still simulating, let's drag the corners of the scarf over the shoulder into the back. Once you have it in a good place, you can delete the pins. Once the scarf is draped over the shoulders, let's go ahead and add more pins. While still simulating, we're going to wrap this side around the neck. Feel free to use as many pins as you need. The key to this is to take your time and gradually work your way around the neck. Once again, feel free to use additional pins to keep certain areas of the scarf stabilized. Now that we've completed this first wrap, let's repeat the process on the other side. Now that we've finished wrapping both sides around the neck, let's sew the ends together. 
delete the pins on both sides. To make it easier to sew these ends together, we're going to cut the corners in order to create a straight edge. Let's select the point split line tool. Right click on the line and let's change this length to 50 millimeters on both sides. Then with the edit pattern tool, select the point and delete it. We will repeat this process on the other side. We can use the segment sewing tool to sew these two ends together. And now we can simulate and sew these ends together. If you're happy with the way that the scarf looks, let's go ahead and change the avatar's pose to A for size. Now let's change the physical property of the linen fabric to something that is heavier and something that will expand the folds. Select the linen fabric and Underneath physical property, let's select Sherpa Shearling Curly Fleece Poly. Before we simulate, let's change the particle distance to 5. This is the final scarf and the end of part 1. We will complete this garment in part 2 where we will design a trapper hat. I hope you all enjoyed this and found it helpful. If you have any comments, questions, or even feedback, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Thank you all for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.